Well, here we go again. People are, well, being judgmental. But, you know, that's natural judgmentalness. Especially amongst humans. Very natural. But, can you really be judgmental? And you haven't examined all the evidence. Or you're being judgmental because you have so many standards that you yourself can't even keep up with. You know, I'm talking about the case in case you haven't heard of Ashley Elizabeth Steinman. You know, she was like kind of lady next door, your mom next door. Yeah, rope it up into something, well, that people are being all judgmental about. But they don't have any good answers as to what they would do. You know, the story goes something like this. She's a band teacher, so she teaches band. You know, the musical instrument, saxophone, drums, guitar. All of that. Yeah. And apparently she's a pretty good teacher at that. But you know, there's this one student, you know, and, well, get this, the student's 18 years of age. And apparently she had a little fling with the student. And now she's in a lot of hot water. Now she's probably going to jail for a long time. She's going to get labeled as a sex offender. Ooh, you know, this is the problem. This is one of the problems, many problems. Everybody's quick to rush to judgment nowadays without examining all the evidence, without surmising the facts. Everybody's quick to now want to jump on her. Say, throw her into the jail. She's a pervert. She's a pedophile. You know, all the names, all the shames, all those things that we've gone through before in our past history. You know, they're not examining all the evidence. They're not examining all the facts. And if they did, well, I don't think you could find Ashley Elizabeth Thamman, well, guilty of anything besides maybe poor choices. You know, I wouldn't recommend having a relationship with a student that you teach. But was there anything criminal about it? Well, one, the student is 18 years of age. So, according to American law, he's of the age of consent for intercourse and relations. You know, in England, he's 16. And get this, France doesn't have an age of consent. So, 16, 13, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, you name it. You know, the vagueness, all of the inconsistencies, it doesn't ring true for a standardized setting that you want people to follow. So it kind of like, seems like an entrapment thing. You know, the purple people's out. Well, I'm not going to jump down the throat of people like Ashley Elizabeth Stanley. No, I'm not going to jump down the throat. I'm not going to say we we'll choose sides. All I'm going to say is get all the facts right before you convict someone, before you shame someone, before you outcast someone. And if the facts don't sound right, well, then maybe you haven't done enough research. You know, here's the story of a band teacher, probably a pretty good band teacher, that's now in a lot of hot water for something that was a poor choice. But now being told that it's criminal, now being said that you're the worst person in the world, now having everybody ostracized it. You know, that's usually what people do who are guilty of the same thing, but don't want other people to know. You know, there's no standards. There's no consistency. And then you pick and choose who you want to take the fall for it. You know, that's problematic for me. Very problematic for the purple people's out. You know, 
if I did choose a side, it would probably be with actually Elizabeth Spaniard. Because what she did, well, it was poor choices. Well, poor choices aren't criminal. At least maybe the choices that people are making that are criminal. Maybe if we, if we had a real legal system, we take about half the time or all the time that we pursue people that just make poor choices.